So we're a right to life state and that sanctity of life gets weighed against the counterpoint. And when our legislature took it on, uh, they talked to their constituents, to Hoosiers, and it's uh, withstood uh, the courts weighing in. So it is a bill that sanctifies life. We're a state that does that with reasonable exceptions. And I think the people have spoken, the legislature Tours listened, and we got a bill that seems to be working for Hoosiers. Let's turn this now to you, Ms. McCormick. You've promised to overturn the state's abortion ban if elected as a Democrat who most likely would be working alongside a Republican supermajority in the state house. How would you overturn the law and get bipartisan support to do so? And yeah, you have 60 I don't know how any elected official could say it's working because we have women already dying in Indiana and we have stories being told every day and are being reported on. I'm the only person on the stage who's been pregnant. I'm the only person on the stage who's given birth. I'm the only person on this stage who is a mom and I understand and firsthand the complexities associated with pregnancy. And I trust women. I trust health care providers. I believe in the standards that were set by Roe. It's time we return that. There is too much at stake. I know my opponent said that, it, it, that he thought we got it right. And when you, when you make comments like that, we put a lot of women's lives at risk. It's complex. I'm also concerned about IVF and birth control. As I know a lot of people say it's not at risk. When you leave that up to the states, we have seen time and time again that it has become at risk. We have plenty of, of examples to point to. Again, I trust women and there are a lot of Hoosiers who are with me on this issue.